I'm Robin Higgins, and this is an explanation of hydrolysis in chemistry. All right, so hydrolysis means that when one molecule is cleaved by the addition of water. So let's look at an example. Let's just take a typical ester. So we've got our carbonyl, we've got our ester functionality group, and we are going to cleave this with water. And one type of hydrolysis is under acidic conditions, so we're going to do that too. So have a little bit of H plus in our reaction. So the first step is that our carbonyl is protonated and is positively charged. So we've got our positively charged carbonyl here, ester, and we still have H2O. Remember, we want to start with a positive charge because since we are an acid, we don't want to create any negative charges. So the second step, so the lone pairs of oxygen come in and attack this carbonyl, forcing one of these bonds up. So our intermediate is going to have our alcohol group has now formed. This used to be the carbonyl. We still have our ester functionality. And now we also have positively charged water, which has added. So this is not very stable. Let's just have a generic base come in and take away a hydrogen. So now we're formed our tetrahedral intermediate with our two alcohol groups and our ester. So now it doesn't really matter which one falls down, but let's go ahead and have our water addition. Just have one of these lone pairs, um, and this is we have to get this ready to attack. So to get this ready to attack, we've got to make this ester portion positively charged. So remember, we're in acid, so we're going to have a lone pair attack this hydrogen. So now that we have this, we have our alcohol methyl group, positively charged, ester functionality, and we have our other alcohol. Now we're ready to have it collapse back in, reforming our carbonyl. So let's just take this guy, this lone pair, we're going to have him come down and kick off this now ethanol. So now we have our carbonyl, which still has a positively charge because we still have our hydrogen here. And we have an OH here because this is this guy. And we've also now formed ethanol. And the last step of our reaction is we're just going to have another generic base come in and take away this hydrogen, taking away the positive charge. So our final product of hydrolysis is this carboxylic acid plus ethanol. And remember, this is just one example of hydrolysis. The definition is when we have a molecule that gets cleaved by the addition of water. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been an explanation of hydrolysis in chemistry.